Hello folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are at Tanglin Shopping Center's very own toy sales event. And without further ado, let's check out what's inside this fantastic place. So going into this first store over here, the first thing you'll probably see is this like Star Wars set right there, looking very vintage in appearance. And looking at the back of there, there's actually a mystery machine. I'm probably gonna get it. But yeah, just let's look around first. There's some speed champions as well. Some monkey kit here and there. There's a Wally set behind as well, which is for around $200, I think. And yeah, just looking around the sets, we have some superheroes as well, which is pretty cool. That's the whole set with the Joker in the figure inside, with the cowboy hat and all, so that's pretty nice looking. There's some pretty sets as well with those like Lamborghini or Ferrari sets, so that's pretty cool looking. And moving on to the next store, we have quite a bit of polybags here and there, a kid hiding the desk for some reason. And over here we have even more sets which includes like Prince of Persia which is pretty rare and you don't see nowadays, the Lego Movie, Lego City, some old Star Wars set here and there, and even a pretty cool looking creator set. Oh my god, this is actually for $30, pretty worth it I would say. I think it goes for maybe $40 plus on time. So just a bit of explanation before I continue the video. So straight after I bought that set earlier together with another set, uh, the seller basically pulled out another Atlantis set for like 20 bucks which is really impressive and yeah I just bought it down and then following that we looked at another store again with more Ninjago items, creator items here and there, a lot of minifigure series that were priced at around $65 for one pack I didn't really buy any of it, there were some Lone Rangers as well, looks so nice and yeah pretty cool looking, they also sell a lot of like used parts as you can see over here with like city sets that are used and they have like a checklist catalog for you to check through which sets you kind of want. I'm not really a used set kind of person, so I didn't buy any used sets. But it's pretty cool just looking at the assortment they have over here, like 75048 over there, for example. And yeah, pretty nice looking. And then following that, I went on to another store again with another assortment of different Lego sets, such as Lego Friends, which is really popular for this like section of the sales over here. We got a lot of Lego City as well, which is kind of nice, but it's not my thing, you know? I was really interested in that Christmas set though, $65. It was pretty good price, but I just didn't buy it in the end, because I did spend like over $400 in the end. But it was just not part of the stuff I bought, unfortunately. Maybe someday I'll get that set, but it's still relatively new, I think. Still in market. Anyways, here's like the poly bag section with like Lego Dot. So each of this was like for $5. And then there's Lego City as well, some Monkey Kid Polybag which is pretty nice and even like one of the Christmas ones from Lego Creator back then. So yeah, that's kind of it for this part. Following that, looking up we have some Disney minifigures as well, some Wizard of Oz minifigures and Grendelwald and Harry Potter minifigures gathered over there. And yeah, I just took a look, final look at that store and moved on to the next one with more superhero stuff, Ninjago stuff here and there. And just kept on moving. We have some used sets here and there as well, with some Monkey Kid, some Technic sets. I was just kind of searching through this section, you know, trying to find more sets, and I kind of just saw like old Technic sets, as you can see with that racing car. Not sure what that set was, you can comment down in the comment section about it was, I guess. And this is the Monkey Kid set that they had for used parts. And they even have like Hidden Side as well, which is, yeah, this set over here. So, never forgotten Hidden Side. I really like that team, it's unfortunate it ended. Anyways, looking on to the next store, we have a lot of Star Wars items. So this store actually gave like free gift that was not Lego after you purchase stuff. So that was pretty nice. But their Star Wars set was kind of overpriced, so I didn't end up buying any Star Wars set, unfortunately. So yeah. But they had some Mario as well, some Ninjago City stuff. Which is pretty cool. Of course, Friends is another thing that they have. A lot of the stores have Friends actually. So yeah. They even have Ultra Agents, which was highly unexpected and kind of rare, so I kind of like it for that. And then looking on, we also have like some creator sets, some Marvel sets as well, even that old Avengers 1 Loki set, which is kind of rare, but I didn't get it just because I was not really that interested in it. But I'll show you what I got later, so yeah, watch till the end of the day. And then moving on to our next store, we have like Atlantis, Marvel sets, and even that Brickling set, which is absolutely unexpected for me, but it was really overpriced. I remember like $300, $400 or something like that. Which was, yeah, overpriced, I would say. 
But this store just had a good assortment. Too bad the pricing of this was just way too expensive. They even have like minifigure parts as well, which is pretty cool. Each at $1 for each part. So yeah. And then down at the bottom, they also have like Bionicles as well, which was highly unexpected. As you can see, I'm just looking through this section because I was not expecting any Bionicles because Bionicles is pretty rare, especially when it comes to in Singapore. So yeah. And then some minifigure series as well. And yeah, this is a polybag for five dollars. So that was pretty worth it. And I did end up getting it. So it's part of a haul later. And following that, I took a look at the side over here and found this amazing used Ninjago City, which was totally unexpected. Again, I say that word. And yeah, it's kind of in multiple layers over here, but looking pretty good condition, I would say. But of course, it was pretty pricey for what it is since it's a gigantic set. So yeah, and then I went and took a look at the other store as well with some unique items like this tamper pack chicken for ten dollars over there. Some weird ass non minifigure like figures. They even have the very rare Deadpool set from back in the day, which I really wanted, but it was kind of pricey for what it is. They even have like the nurse train, the nurse ship over there, some Lego idea set, which is pretty nice looking. Some DC sets, Monkey Kid, Big Bang Theory, and of course we have the used department as well. With some pretty nice looking sets, one of which was something I was really tempted by, which I will show you right now. So this is actually the ghost set for used condition. I was actually looking in pretty good condition and I was really quite tempted for it, but I was just not a collector for used items. And therefore I did not get it in there, which was kind of unfortunate. So yeah. But here is more of the store over here, looking pretty nice looking. At the side of the store, there's also like this like creator set display over there. I was not really into creator that much, so I did not get any of this set. And with that, we have come to the final store over here with that amazing Wonder Woman exclusive America set, which I do own and paid for cheaper. And of course, the Big Bang Theory set as well, which I really love but did not get. And here is a look at the final store here. And let's take a final look at all of the stores, all these amazing stores that sold amazing items, which I really love. I wish more of these Lego events happen in the future. And yeah, it's time to tap out and go to the haul section. Let's go. And for this haul section, I was to start with the cheapest item of this wafer, starting off with this purple hood over here, which you'll probably recognize is from Raven from Lego Dimensions. Pretty rare piece to get, but I paid for around $1 for this one piece. I'm actually pretty happy that I spent the money just because I always wanted this for my custom creation. Not sure how I use it yet, but yeah, I'm happy with what I got. And next up from that, we also have two other sets on our hands, which I'll show you in a bit over here. So this two is actually 7080 and 7082, which I got for around $5 for both. Really impressive price to get it for, and I'm just really happy I got it at this cheap price. Just because the seller actually didn't know what to do with it. So yeah, in the end, he just gave it to me for around $5 for both. And this is actually worth for around, I think, $7 plus for this and $13 plus for this. So yeah, it was just a really good deal in the end. I just really wanted to get this white shark and the crocodile piece as well. This vintage animal part. Really cool. And I'm really happy I got it. And next on from that, we also have another mini kind of poly bag with us as well. This is the BR Lego minifigure poly bag that I got for around $5. And with that, we also have these two items over here as well. This is actually the Lego Pirates one and the Lego Kingdoms mini set from back in 2009, if I'm not wrong. And this was priced with both at $10 each. I still find it at a pretty good affordable pricing, I would say. So that's why I bought both of this. And next, we have this set over here, which is the Lego Atlantis set right here, 8057. That I bought for around $20 yesterday. The market price for this is around the same nowadays, so I'm actually pretty happy to get it and looking below over here, I actually bought it at normal retail price, so I'm actually more than happy to get it at this pricing. And moving on from that, we have one of the newer sets on our hands. This is actually the Speed Champion set, the Aston Martin DB5, basically from James Bond, for around $25 this day. And I find it pretty good pricing at $25. So that's why I bought it and I always wanted this set together with the Fast and Furious which is a good opportunity and I took it. And moving on from that, we have one of the bigger sets on our hands over here. 
which is actually this set over here for around $30. This is the lock cabin set right here that I paid $30 for. This is worth slightly more than that online, if I'm not wrong, for around $50 plus or $40. Plus. The pricing will be down here at the side. And yeah, I actually got this just because I knew that it was worth more than $30. And you know, kind of the collector or like bargaining, bargaining kind of hype just got onto me and that's why I bought this set. No regrets though, I'm looking forward to reviewing it to just see how the design is because this set is pretty vintage and old by its own. So yeah. And following that, we have another pretty small but pretty pricey item on our hands. This is actually from Bricktober 2017. And I bought this for around $30 for all of these three minifigures. This is the 2017 Bricktober Batman minifigures including Cash Batman, Easter Batman, and of course Bat Wizard right there. All three minifigures looking very glamorous in appearance. And yeah, I just really wanted this minifigure ever since I saw it in 2017, never got a chance. Saw it yesterday and I bought it down. And following that, we have another small set on our hands. This is actually the Comanche Camp set from LEGO Lone Rangers that I paid $30 for. Really worth it pricing for what it is. And ever since I watched the Lone Ranger movie, honestly, I loved it. And therefore, I wanted to get more of the sets from the same team. And I got it yesterday at around thirty dollars, pretty good price. And following that, we have more of the biggest set of this wave, which is actually this set over here, which is actually pretty tiny, but it was pretty pricey for what it is. This was for around forty dollars, and this is the two one one zero Research Institute Lego Idea Set, which is one of the very first Lego Idea Set. If you didn't realize, it's 008. and. I just really relate to this set just because I worked in a research institute once as an intern and I worked in coral extraction so seeing this kind of setup just really brings back nostalgia and that's why I got it in the end and pretty cool my constellation is there as well, Taurus so yeah and moving on from that as I mentioned one of the bigger sets of this wave is actually this set right here this is actually 7712 the Ixo 4 set that I bargained for around $45 instead of paying $50 and you know what's great about this? The fact that this set is actually worth $140 suit is crazy and I cannot believe I got it for $45 honestly. It's incredible that I got it for $45 and I just couldn't believe my eyes when I got it at this pricing and I always love like Exo Force in general just because I'm a major anime fan and I love the style of this kind of sense back in the day. I never got the chance to get it to yesterday and like this says these days I just priced a pretty high amount so it's almost impossible to get them to get it at this two digit pricing is just impressive and I feel that it's miraculous so yeah but aside from that we have another big set on our hands as well which is this set over here which I've also always wanted this is actually the Spider-Man Daily Bugle Showdown set the first Daily Bugle not the one you know recently that I bought 76005 for Ultimate Spider-Man. Always love this set just because of its amazing minifigures. There's Beedle, the old J. Jonah Jameson, Dr. Doom, and even Nova, which is... I just... I'm at a loss of words right here. I always love the design of this set and I cannot wait to open this up and review it to all of you. And last but not least, we have another more exciting set than even this Daily Bugle. We have this set over here. This beautiful, beautiful set. This is the Mystery Machine 75902, which I paid only $90 for. By the way, I paid like $70 for the Daily Bugle, which is still a good deal. But this for $90? I, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> like, for suit, this is actually worth like over probably around 50 or 40. I don't really know the pricing right now. But you'll know down below at the section over here. But yeah, I just know that it's definitely 3D digits. And getting it for 90 is just wow. Like I'm speechless. I couldn't believe it just because the seller was the one who told me that I can code a price to him and if he accepts and I can buy it at a price. And I told him $90 is kind of a joke. And he accepted it and I got it for the price. And that was the end of the story. And with that, we have actually come to the end of this video. So 
I've actually counted like most of the pricing of the sets and well I actually got a darn good deal on what we have over here. So all of these sets add up together is around 400 plus dollars and it's actually worth 600 plus dollars. So basically I got, I saved around 200 dollars buying all of the sets yesterday and it was a really good pricing for what I got over here and I'm just really happy. I'm elated about what happened yesterday and if you guys have this kind of events in your country remember to go there and if you guys are living in Singapore well uh, next time around follow me on true Instagram and do go there when you see my message online so yeah I think by the time I released this video the event probably ended so I can't really tell you in advance and more but yeah, it was kind of impromptu and I visited the place had a really good time spent a lot of money but it was just a great and wild experience and that's all for today so if you like the video so far please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one and toodles bye guys